University. Alex, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your research. What do you study? Well, one of the facets of my thesis work has been looking at uh, the impacts of shark feeding on reef sharks in the Caribbean, the Bahamas specifically, and trying to figure out also whether there are any, any impacts on uh, St. Patrick fish communities, or those fish communities that live in the very close proximity to shark feeding areas. All right, and when you say shark feeding, what exactly do you mean, what do you, what exactly do you mean by that? Okay, so... Most divers will never really get to see sharks, anything more than a fleeting glimpse. But for those people who are interested in having a really good shark viewing opportunity, they tend to have to go on an organized shark dive. Now, sharks are elusive predators. Um, they may not particularly like being around people very much. So in order to draw the sharks near to the divers and to keep sharks within the viewing distance of divers, um, most dive operations use some sort of uh, attractant, so chum or bait, to attract the sharks in and keep them there so that their dive clients can have a really good look at them. Okay, and this practice is somewhat controversial. Can you summarize both sides? Okay, it, it is a very controversial practice. Um, obviously, feeding of any wildlife is controversial, but when you're feeding uh, predators, and, and I think particularly marine predators, that controversy reaches uh, new heights. So those people who are against shark feeding, they're usually citing things like uh, human safety issues. So uh, they're, they're thinking that maybe these predators are learning to associate people with food rewards, which obviously has safety implications uh, for, for a variety of marine user groups. And then they're also citing the ecological impacts or potential ecological impacts uh, on both the sharks that are being fed and as I say those species that are living in proximity to shark feeding sites. Now at the moment there haven't really been any very detailed studies of this and this is one of the things that, that really interested me and made me want to study this because there's a, the flip side of the argument where those people who support shark feeding are saying that because sharks are being fished out of many oceans this shark feeding activity might be generating tourist revenue, which acts as an economic incentive to conserve shark populations. They say that there's a very good ec educational benefit, for example, by uh, engendering some sort of compassion in divers for this often much mis sorry <laughs> for what is often a, a, a much maligned group of predators. And then on top of that, over the last decade, there have been a lot of people who have been saying that, you know, shark feeding is a really good way to conserve coastal shark populations by, by increasing awareness, by, by generating revenue and, and these educational benefits that I've just spoken about. They think that, that shark feeding can actually be a tool for shark conservation. And of course, there's no middle of the road in this argument. People seem to either love it or hate it, and they, the, the people in the argument are sitting at two ends of a, of a very ferocious spectrum of arguments. And what I wanted to do was conduct a study which would start to provide some sort of rational background against which these arguments can be framed. All right. And, and what have you found so far? Well, so far, um, we've used a lot of acoustic telemetry, for example, to look at the movement patterns of these sharks in relation to the shark feeding site. And we can't really detect any impact of uh, feeding sharks on the movement patterns of these animals. So by comparing those sharks which get the majority of the bait with sharks at different sites, there are actually no differences in things like site fidelity or the amount of time that these sharks spend at a particular site or in terms of how far these sharks travel over the course of the day. And in energetic terms, these things would be considered some of the first aspects of shark behavior to change if we were actually feeding them enough to, to, to have any impact at all on their ecology. All right. So it's, it seems like, at least from this data, that shark feeding does not have a major impact on the ecology of these Caribbean reef sharks? Is that, that seems to be true for this particular study, but having said that, I think it would be very dangerous to extrapolate the results of my study to other species or other types of shark feeds. Um, a very broad range of sharks are provisioned um, in many areas of the world, 
and they're fed with different baits and they're fed at different times and different frequency of provisioning. All of these things could have a very great impact on how shark feeding would affect the behavior of these animals. So while I think I might have established some kind of a baseline, maybe for this one species being fed with this particular type of bait and, and, and the, the sharks that I study, they're only fed with fish. So things that would likely be part of their natural diet anyway. Um, I, I think I wouldn't like to generalize too much, particularly across different shark groups. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to say about your research or shark feeding or shark tourism in general? Um, okay. So I think shark tourism is a fantastic opportunity for people to become aware of the, the problems and conservation concerns that surround this particular group of animals. However, I think it's very important to say that anyone considering going on a shark dive really should go on dives with uh, very organized dive groups. So people who have been doing this for some length of time, who have a vested interest in the conservation and protection of those animals which they're feeding. and. Uh, I, I think it's one of those things where you have to use a bit of common sense in, in terms of choosing which dive group you go with, which shark species you're actually thinking of, of going to see being fed, and in general just take your own safety into consideration prior to, uh, prior to anything else. Wonderful. Thank you very much for taking the time. No problem.